everybody, Geek K here with Adventures in Dirt. Thanks for joining me again for another episode of the Weekly Dirt. And if you can't tell, I've got a pretty bad head cold. Hey, I didn't want to cancel this week. There are some cool channels I want to show you with some great clips uh, that happened this week in our metal detecting world. But I'm probably not going to talk so long, so let's get right into it. Hey, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video for a tribute to our friend and fellow metal detectorist, Basha, today. Hey, this first channel I'm going to show you is pretty cool. The Giant Garrett Detectorist. Well, if you haven't seen that channel, you gotta go over and check out his channel. You know what I love about his channel is that he'll put together little one-liner jokes in between his clips. Uh, pretty cool. So check this out from The Giant Garrett Detectorist. And if you're not a fan, you need to go over there and check out that channel. Watch this. Morning, morning. I'm Devil Eye. You know what? I've come to that new place. Let me flip you around to show you. There you go. Come up here while tide's out. Um, as you can see, beautiful location. Right guys, first coin of the day ends up being a 1964 ship. But yeah, first coin, ship off. Get in. Right guys, my first semi-interesting find in about 30 odd holes. Just a popper of a button, but in 30 odd holes. I'm happy with that. Right guys, I've got my belief that that is a two ringer bullet. Now I don't know too much about it. Someone will be able to tell me, but that's made of lead and it's got two rings around the bottom and it's bullet shaped. So I'm going for two ring bullet. I'm on my way to that new location and I've had a few hits, but I'm not exactly raking in the fines. Ree in a bit. Right guys, my first coin in crevice situation. There you go, I've loosened it. It's out, let's clean it. Don't know what is it? Ray! And in the crevice, can you see that coin just there? Looks copper, probably a penny, but it is stuck. Right, I finally got it out of that crevice. And it's not a penny, but you can't make it out what it is. Before my missus, I went out with this bit of a crazy lady. I had to get rid though, she had too much emotional baggage. Hey! Right guys, I think I may have come across something really interesting. It's been stuck. I'll show you where it's stuck, in between them crevices there. I found that, I'm going to have to clean it up, but you never know. That could be a hammy. Yep, it is silver, because I've done the foil test. Just cannot make out what it is. At a push, I'd probably say a Vicky fruit free pence. Man, I could imagine going out there on the beach and picking through them rocks and they're all stuck in the crevices like that. So great job, Ben. Great job, man. You guys go check out his channel, The Giant Garrett Detectorist. He's got a lot of other cool videos like that. Hey, it just makes you smile when you hear it, right? Awesome. So good job, Ben. Great job on your video this week. Hey, everyone, go on over and check out The Giant Garrett Detectors. Let's go check in with Jersh's Metal Detecting. Jersh's Metal Detecting, another cool channel. He's out on the beaches, he's in the parks, he's got some cool property permissions. Let's go in and check with him and see what he was digging this week over at Jersh's Metal Detecting. Watch this. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your boy Jersh here. So I am at I'm at the beach right now. You see a nice sun, some people over there. Just beautiful right now. So I got a pretty cool find. My son's gonna love it. I found a dinosaur. Rawr. It's gonna love it. It's one of his favorite too. So back to going searching for uh, treasure. All right, I'm super stoked. I just found a good target and I've never found one, believe it or not. Look what I just pulled out of the ground. It does say Italy and it does say 925. So I just got myself, appears to be a necklace. Look at the size of it. Can this see my leg? Boom, baby. Look at that. Awesome. Very awesome. I don't believe it. I just rechecked the hole. And I found I found another piece to it. So that chain is a lot longer than I thought. 
Look at that one. And then that one. So, okay, here. So, I don't know if I can do this to you, for you. But, look at the size of that chain. Look at it. It just keeps going and going, but. And I got myself some silver. 1962 dime. So coming here for five years, I'm still pulling silver. Beauty. Wow, hey, nice necklace, man. How long was that thing? That looked to be like 40 inch long necklace or something. That was pretty cool. But awesome score, awesome find. 925 silver necklace, perfect. And you even got a dinosaur for your little boy, that's awesome. Love this metal detecting hobby. So everyone, go on over and check out Jersh's Metal Detecting. He puts together some great videos. Become a fan like I am, excellent. Jersh's Metal Detecting, go check it out. Yeah, this next channel is pretty cool. If he doesn't get on camera and he doesn't speak, the cool thing he does, he asks you to hit the closed captioning button and he uses the closed captioning feature to actually type out text as what you're seeing, what's being thought of, or what's being seen. It's pretty cool, go check this out. Let's check in with Metal Detecting 24, awesome metal detecting channel. If you haven't discovered it, you really need to check this one out. Metal Detecting 24, watch this. They had German coins, you got that cool ring with a leather wrapped around it, that is so cool, that was an awesome find. Hey, great channel, right? Great finds. That was just a small clip, I'm telling you, a guy must have put like, I don't know, 20 or so finds into that video and I only could pull a few to keep it down to a few minutes here. But go on over and check out that channel, Metal Detecting 24, become a fan, become a subscriber, and check out all of his videos, man, they're just awesome. So, great job, Metal Detecting 24. 24. Hey, I did it to you last week. I'm going to do it to you this week again. Another holy grail for the Hoover boys. Check this out as they find their first gold coin. Amazing. Watch this from the Hoover boys. Check this out. All right. I didn't think we were going to turn on the camera, but Brad said, please come here. Please come. Are you okay? Please come here. Please no. come here. No. Please come here. No. I tested before you did. Oh my God, I owe you $50. Are you for real? Is that, that's a gold I coin. Real? I think I got one, guys. I Are you freaking oh, kidding me? I think I got one. Dude, you have that's a cut gold real. coin. I think I got Dude, one. it's so heavy. You did. That is you did. Real. You did. <laughs> Dude, that is legit. I don't know what it is. It, it's not U.S. <laughs> yes. No, it's not U.S. Yes. Oh Dude, my it's God. so... Yes. Take your glove oh. off. Feel how heavy this is. Are you sure? 
Oh, no. It's so heavy. Oh my god, that's like a fishing sinker. Oh. Dude. That was the most, that was just like a oh. there. Dude, I'm going to rub it on my pants. Yeah, that's gold. Dude, that's gold. Is that a cut piece? No, you yeah. did it. But yeah. it, it's, it's not U.S. It's foreign. A beep on the beach. Dude, it's yeah. so unbelievably it's heavy. Just flaky and just small. Oh, yeah. It won't even flip over in my hand. It's so heavy. <laughs> All here. Dude, we're crazy going that together. You flowing haired your no, gold no, coin? I, I have no idea. It probably broke apart on some rocks. Yeah. Is that yeah. all of it? You want to put something on his rock or something? Can somebody oh. get some foo. <laughs> this, what kind of moment is this? Crazy. <laughs> there, there, there's, let's make sure we have all the pieces. We'll probably oh, there's a date. Uh -uh. 1736. Oh, oh my God. Um, what? <laughs> I still don't even know. Is it British? Is it is it Spanish? I still have no idea. We don't find is gold there a coins. In the front? Yeah. Turn the missing link. Man, what are the odds of that? Probably the shovel got it. Look at that. Murdered. That's like a perfect cut. Oh, he's facing left, ain't he? He's facing left. Huge too. It's is it, big. Is it Spanish? Dude, stop pulling my hand down. You're dropping a piece. <laughs> right it, there. Is it Spanish? I don't know. Right here, right here's your I, I don't even I don't even know what I'm filming yeah, anymore. Just focus on it. What is it though? Let's flip it over. What is it? Hey, I don't know if it was cut or broke, but I'm telling you what an incredible find in the middle of some field somewhere. Brad, great job, man, great job. You and the Uber boys just tearing it up, and then you come and you find that gold coin. What an amazing, amazing find. Great job. Man, that'd be incredible to find a gold coin. So good job, guys. Great job this week on your video. Great videos this week. You guys go on and check over the Hoover boys. I'll put the link down below. The Hoover boys. Check them out. Hey, let's get to some announcements. The only announcement I have for you this week is just to remind you to head on over to 5280 Adventures. He's having his 1200 sub giveaway, and you got a little, you got a couple more days to get in on that. So time's running out. You can head on over there and check that out. I'll put the link down below to that giveaway. Great job from Tony over there at 5280 Adventures. Awesome. Hey, you know a lot of you know that last week we lost a dear friend and fellow metal detectorist, Barbara Barkley. She passed away last week. Her channel was Basha Today. And she was known by many and loved by many more for her videos that she put out digging on the coast there and that beautiful hunting grounds. And another one of our friends, Liz at Digging Canuck, put together a beautiful tribute to her to say goodbye to our friend. And I'd like to show it to you here today to close out this episode of the Weekly Dirt. This is Basha today. Rest in peace, my friend.
what an incredible hunt out here. Absolutely awesome. I think I love this beach. This is great.